Hello, welcome to this brief demonstration of CADM Capstone. The demonstration will show you how easy it is to use Capstone and how its various features increase your profits by cutting down cycle time, part rejections and machine downtime. We start a new part, select the workpiece material. We enter the safety area around the part to prevent collisions. Enter the part details like part number, part name, fixture details. Using capstone involves just three steps. We first go to the geometry mode, define the part and raw material shapes. We then go to the machining mode to perform the machining operations and then finally see the tool path in the simulation mode. We'll import a CAD file that has the part and raw material shapes. If you do not already have a CAD file, you can draw them in the inbuilt CAD. We'll now tell the software which is the part and which is the raw material. We switch to the machining mode to do the machining. We want to rough the face and the outside contour, then do finish facing and finish turning. We now want to do rough facing. We click on operations, then turning, then plane face. We select a new tool. The software has selected our favorite tool for rough turning. We accept this tool. We select from where we want to start facing and till where we want to face. The software has selected the parameters for rough facing, the safe approach, finish allowances and cutting parameters. We accept these. We now want to rough turn the outside contour. We click on operations, then turning, then contour turn. We select the same tool that we used for rough facing. We select the start and end of the area to be rough turned. The software has selected the parameters for rough turning and we accept these. You can change any of these parameters if you want to. We now want to finish face the part and by now you've probably figured out that we need to click on operations, then turning, then finish face. We select a new tool. The software has selected our favorite tool for finishing, but this tool will not clear the undercut. We select a tool with a sharper nose using the graphical tool guidance. We select the start and end of the area to be faced. We accept the parameters that have been selected automatically. We now want to finish turn the OD contour. We click on operations, then turning, then finish turn. We select the same tool that we used for finish facing. We select the start and end of the area to be finish turned. We accept the parameters that have been selected automatically. The software has decided the tool path automatically and we go to simulation to view the tool path. The path seems to be perfect with all the material being cleared properly. The simulation shows the exact shapes of the part, raw material and tool, including the tool's nose radius, cutting edge and angles. So what you see in the simulation is exactly what you will see on the machine. We'll now try and reduce the cycle time by using the machine's spindle power to the maximum. We select the machine, then go to money maker. Enter a batch quantity of 50. The cycle time is now 13 minutes and machining cost per part is 42.7 rupees. 
we see that the second operation is consuming the most time so we will attack this operation to reduce the cycle time the spindle power and torque that we are using is less than what is available so we increase the depth of cut to a value that is less than the maximum depth of cut possible with the insert that we are using in this tool we see that the cycle time has reduced by 38% from 13 minutes to 8 minutes 59 seconds and machining cost has reduced from 42.7 rupees to 29.3 rupees you can also see how much money you will be making by selling scrap the net machining cost is the machining cost minus the scrap sale value. We'll now generate the NC program. You can see that the program is fully documented and easy to understand with the part details, date of generation, tool names and operation names. We'll now generate shop documents that can be printed out and given to the operator or filed away for future reference. The tools list. The graphical process sheet that shows the tool and the tool path for every operation. The process and cycle time sheet. The cycle time is very accurate with less than 1% error because Capstone takes all machine parameters into account. Parameters like spindle start and stop time, axis acceleration and deceleration rates, chuck open and close times and so on. You can confidently use the cycle time to make job quotations or for scheduling. This was a brief demonstration of how Capstone works and how it increases your profits. Here are answers to some questions that you probably have. You can define and use form tools like in this part. This is a ceramic electrical insulator turned from soft clay with form tools and then baked. This is the form tool for roughing and this is for finishing. Automatic tool gouge prevention ensures that the tool will not gouge into the part even if the tool is unsuitable. This is a rock drill bit with a complex profile. The tool only removes whatever material it can. You can also cut with rotated tools. Capstone comes with a ready database of tools, workpiece materials and cutting materials. You can add, remove or modify any data. You can also change data used in the money maker like the machine hour rate and the scrap sale prices. Capstone has all the operations that you can do in turning. Whole operations, turning, grooving, threading, parting off. All the operations are done through very easy to use graphical screens like these. The special inbuilt CAD has features that enable you to quickly define undercuts and grooves. Capstone helps you make money, not just chips.